right, we're here at DevOps UK with Perth Forces, Mark Warren. Hi, morning. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm oh, pleased to be here. And um, Mark, what, what do you do at Perforce, just for people who might not be familiar with your company? Okay, well, Perforce are version management specialists. We've been around now for about 18 years. We've got companies that range from one-person teams to tens of thousands. So right. lots of brand names like Salesforce and NVIDIA and Intel, etc. use Perforce for versioning all sorts of different kinds of digital content. So you must have seen like some really big changes over the past 18 years. Yeah, it's kind of interesting seeing the wall here with the 20 years of Java. because It seems like that 20 years has gone by really fast, and that's almost as long as Perforce has been around. Um, I and mean, I remember doing a lot of work in the early days, during early you know, Java 1 and Java 2, kind of stands where Enterprise was just coming out. And Java was uh, that hipster language. And it was, and it went quiet for a while, and it's been a little bit of a troubled history, but you feel like there's a lot of energy again around, especially this week, it's been great. Yeah, I think particularly this year is the 20th anniversary, so yeah. kind of people are really kind of coming together. Yeah, and there's a very, very strong community, and I think DevOps really shows that. And, you know, uh, what we see in the, in the halls, we saw it in the bar last night, um, but there's a lot of people, one of the things about Java community is people want to learn from each other. It's a very open environment and you know, I absolutely love that. Yeah, yeah I think it's always nice like the set of the tone of the conference was kind of that keynote by Daniel Bryant and Trisha mm -hmm. D about yeah. kind of the mm -hmm. iron team. Yeah. Which we won't repeat on camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, although I didn't know that punchline until this week, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> but um, basically, no one is a rock star, no one is a ninja, everyone is yeah. important. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and it's interesting as well just how many s different kind of skills there are involved in getting the projects out. You know? And, you know, there was this early uh, um, goal for Java was the right once, run everywhere. And, you know, we're seeing software running everywhere now. now. I think that's really interesting. The amount of software just in daily life, uh, whether it's... Um, you know, we all use software products on the web, but think about your car and how much software is in the car. Uh, I came across a service just recently where you can design your own furniture online and it will deliver a flat pack box for you. You know, just software is absolutely everywhere these days. Yeah. Everyone's a software business. Yeah, I mean, you hear that phrase, software is eating the world. It's almost become a cliche, but it's so true, isn't it? You just absolutely. everything. It's absolutely true, and, and it does mean that you've got a lot of different kinds of people to work with that, that perhaps weren't there in the past. You know, code is obviously at the core of all this, but if you're going to deliver a great mobile app or a great web experience, you're probably going to have graphics and you might have video and audio. You've certainly got different kinds of contributors that use different tools. There'll be graphics tools, video editing tools, and they've all got to come together. Uh, and and that's, that's an interesting um, space that, that the force pay a lot of attention to because... Uh, uh, the code doesn't exist without all these other contributors. And they all have different workflows and different habits. And for most, most people, it's getting the version management out of the way. Just look after my valuable stuff. So that's what we're, what we're doing. Are you kind of seeing people's version management needs changing over the years? It's kind of obviously technology is evolving so rapidly. It is, and it's kind of one of those things that uh, we often talk about, you know, most business problems are really a versioning problem they just don't understand yet. So people talk about, I can't find the la latest version of the spreadsheet or the PowerPoint. And they're using versioning terminology, but they don't know actually we can help with that um, and, and especially in the graphics world we see iterations and evolution of designs over a period of time and the ability to wind back uh, is, is something that they don't understand that they could actually use so yeah we are seeing a lot more of that. And kind of just finally you saying that you do a lot of work with the community yeah. yourself at Perforce what do you do to kind of help enhance kind of that collaboration between developers? And yeah absolutely um, we're a, a privately held company, we're still a startup effectively, although we've been around 18 years and 250 people. Our founder is our CEO. Uh, he's really keen on encouraging startups, so our product is free for up to 20 users for personal or commercial use. Uh, it's completely free for open source projects. Uh, we support a lot of community events like DevOps groups and, uh, and meetup groups. Um, and we've got our own open source community, uh, workshop.perforce.com, so we're encouraging people to contribute the code and share and collaborate around, uh, around the beautiful code That's there. Great. So they're yeah. building their own products essentially. Absolutely. And all of our clients are open sourced as well. So we want people to learn from how we do it so they can build even better clients in the future as well. Fantastic. And that's a really nice direction. It's really great yeah. to kind of see people fostering that open source. Yeah, we're very keen. Yeah, yeah. It's an awesome. Thank you very much for chatting to us today. Thank you.